Years ago, there's only one way for the Vietnamese student to get an international qualification, which is going to overseas to study. But I think in the near future, when the quality of education in Vietnam is getting higher, I think that they, the student will have more choices. Hello, uh, my name is Nguyễn Đồng Anh. I'm a lecturer and I'm currently serving as the Vice Dean of the Faculty of International Communication at the Diplomatic Academy of Vietnam. We started in 1959 as a school teaching mainly international relations for the government. But since 2008, we have more programs. We are actually a part of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, but uh, in terms of uh, the education system, we are also operating on our own, getting students and trying to provide good quality education, not just for the government, but for everyone. I think the key word now is digital transformation we are looking at a smarter education system which is based on digital technology and in Vietnam for the last few years the government is pushing that uh, in terms of both policy and investment we are trying to transform our system our educational system into a more advanced more digital base in the next five or ten years the Vietnamese education landscape would be very beautiful because of the government efforts to push for university and all the schools to meet international standards. We have signed MOU with Australian universities, uh, which is University of Western Australia. And we also have a joint program with the University of Flinders. That program is doing very well in Vietnam. And I think the role of uh, Vietnam in terms of education that we will be contributing high quality human resources in all a lot of the fields. We have quality research and we will contribute to a bigger picture uh, that is the educational system in Asia and in the world as well. Australia is a very good friend of Vietnam. We are strategic partners. Let's take AVLD as an example. Both Prime Minister of uh, Australia and Prime Minister of Vietnam sent a, a letter to us, which is a group of uh, 20 of young leaders from all areas, from education to technology and all of that. I think that is a sign we are seeing this as a future for our countries. Not just our own future, but our future together. And that is just a start.